One sunny weekend afternoon, Caroline and her daughter Amanda sat at the kitchen table amidst the lingering aroma of their freshly cooked lunch. Caroline absentmindedly scrolled through news headlines on her phone while Amanda ate hurriedly, the usual lively chatter replaced by the clinking of cutlery. Are you in a hurry? Caroline asked, concern laced beneath her casual tone, her eyes still fixed on her phone screen. I'm meeting Jessica, Amanda replied, pausing with her fork midair. Jessica had been her lifelong friend. Any plans at the mall? Caroline probed further, trying to catch up with her daughter's life. Yep. Amanda nodded, finishing her meal quickly. Need any money? Caroline called out, her attention still on the screen. No thanks. Love you. Amanda's voice trailed off as she closed the door behind her. It wasn't like Jessica to drive, especially not a van, for a casual trip to the mall. Caroline's concern grew, and without a second thought, she grabbed her keys and followed in her car as they drove towards a rundown part of the city. Caroline had adopted Amanda 10 years ago, but had kept it a secret, waiting for the right moment to reveal the truth. Seeing Amanda with Julie now raised a flurry of questions. Did Julie know about the adoption? Seating herself discreetly nearby, Caroline attempted to blend in. A cheerful waitress approached her, disrupting her careful observation. Good afternoon. What can I get you? She asked brightly, louder than Caroline would have liked. Sorry, but our policy is that you need to order something if you're staying. The waitress explained politely but firmly. Black coffee, no extras. Caroline said crisply, her voice unintentionally sharp. As she refocused on the conversation, she strained to overhear. She caught only snippets. I just want what's best for you. Julie replied softly, concern evident in her tone. But Caroline has been my mom. Amanda countered, her words tinged with uncertainty. Unable to bear the emotional turmoil, Caroline abruptly left the cafe, leaving her coffee untouched. She paced anxiously in the living room until Amanda finally returned home. Where have you been? Caroline demanded as soon as Amanda walked in. With Jessica at the mall, like I told you. Amanda replied casually, heading towards the TV to evade the conversation. And you didn't buy anything. Caroline raised an eyebrow, confronting her daughter. Caroline seized the remote and turned off the TV. And since when does Jessica drive an old van? She pressed, hands on her hips, her worry palpable. It's her brother's van, Amanda faltered, her voice wavering under Caroline's probing gaze. I wanted what's best for you. Caroline shot back, her voice tinged with regret. By hiding my real mom. Amanda's tone softened, her eyes searching her adoptive mother's face. Caroline's patience wore thin. Your mom gave you up when you were just six months old. She snapped, immediately regretting her harsh words as Amanda flinched visibly. Caroline sighed deeply, her frustration evident. An unemployed alcoholic who didn't even know who the father was. You want to live with someone like that? She's my mom, and I had the right to know about her. Amanda said quietly, her voice tinged with defiance. An alcoholic never stops being one. Amanda, Caroline replied softly, trying to reason with her daughter. I wasn't sure about going with Julie, but now I have no reason to refuse. Amanda said petulantly, rushing past Caroline and retreating to her room. From beneath her blanket, Amanda allowed her mother to continue. You mean everything to me. You've always been my daughter in every way that matters, Caroline added sincerely, sitting on the edge of Amanda's bed. Caroline's heart sank, feeling the weight of Amanda's words. I know. I'm sorry, she replied quietly. Amanda nodded silently, and Caroline drew her into a comforting embrace. After a while, Caroline suggested, how about I go to the store and get us some snacks? We could watch a movie together. What do you say? Her daughter tentatively asked for ice cream, which elicited a chuckle from Caroline. Okay, I'll be right back, she agreed, her mind racing with a new plan. As they sat in Julie's modest kitchen, 
Caroline wasted no time. Why did you do it, Julie? Everything was fine between us. She was your daughter. Until you left her, Caroline corrected sharply, her voice tinged with anger. I'm back on my feet now. I don't drink anymore. I have a job. I can provide for her, Julie insisted earnestly. You want to buy my daughter from me? Julie asked, appalled. You're disgusting. Get out of my apartment and never come back. Caroline headed to the door, but turned back to face Julie one last time. Call me if you change your mind. Caroline left, determined to protect Amanda from Julie's influence at all costs. When Amanda declared her intention to move in with Julie, Caroline felt her world shatter. You know I'm your legal guardian. She reminded her daughter, her voice shaking with emotion and desperation. You can't keep me from my real mom. Amanda said defiantly, storming off to her room. Caroline took a moment to compose herself before following Amanda to her room. Where do you think you're going? She asked, her voice tinged with outrage. Wait, let's not rush into anything, Caroline said, raising her hands in a calming gesture. How about we sit down and talk this through? Maybe you can stay with Julie for a few nights. Amanda paused, considering the offer. Really? You'd allow that? She asked, a glimmer of hope in her voice. Yes, but just for a few days. Then we'll decide what's next, Caroline said, trying to negotiate a temporary solution. She's my real mom. I want to see what it's like with her, Amanda admitted, her tone softening slightly. After everything was settled, Amanda resumed packing. I plan to take Amanda, no matter what, Julie stated after a few moments of uncomfortable silence, catching Caroline off guard. Feeling desperate and unsure what else to do, Caroline made a drastic decision. She discreetly poured a small amount of alcohol into Julie's tea, a move driven by both desperation and calculation. As they drove to Julie's apartment, the atmosphere in the car was tense and uncomfortable. Upon arrival, Caroline remarked, maybe after living with Julie, you'll see what she's really like. I already know what she's like. Amanda retorted, her voice tinged with defiance as she entered the apartment, leaving Caroline alone and uncertain of her next move. The drive home was agonizing for Caroline, consumed with guilt and uncertainty about her actions with Julie's tea. Had she truly acted in Amanda's best interest, or was jealousy clouding her judgment? The following morning, Caroline knocked on Julie's door, intending to apologize for everything. There was no answer. A sense of dread washed over her as she realized Julie's van was nowhere in sight, and her building lacked its own parking. Her phone suddenly shattered the silence. Caroline hesitated for a moment before answering hello. Caroline's heart sank, the world around her seeming to come to a halt as she absorbed the news. After a brief moment of drowning in regret, she sprinted to her car. Navigating the hospital corridors frantically, Caroline found Amanda's room quickly. The sight before her was devastating. Amanda lay unconscious, connected to machines that sustained her breathing. The doctor explained Amanda's critical condition, mentioning the urgent need for a liver transplant. The woman she was with claims to be her biological mother, but due to her alcohol abuse, she's not a suitable donor match, the physician continued. Sitting vigilantly by her daughter's bedside in the dim hospital room, Caroline felt compelled to write a letter. Pulling out paper and pen, she began to scribble, her hands steady despite the turmoil within. She poured out her heart in ink, expressing the terror of nearly losing Amanda and confessing to spiking Julie's drink out of desperate love. Tears blurred her vision as she acknowledged this as her darkest moment, a grave mistake born from a place of deep affection. Later, in the sterile confines of the operating room, Caroline braced herself against the cold. Despite her fear, her resolve remained steadfast. This was all for Amanda. Yes. She nodded, her thoughts a silent prayer for Amanda's recovery. Amanda stirred awake slowly, blinking against the harsh light. A doctor's figure loomed, exacerbating her confusion with a tiny flashlight in hand. She immediately inquired about Julie and her mother, 
realizing in that moment who truly held her heart as a mother. Dread tightened her chest at the exchanged look between the doctor and a nurse. I'm sorry to tell you this, but your mother, Caroline, suffered complications during surgery. The words dissolved into a blur. Caroline had made the ultimate sacrifice. Amanda wept for the loss, mourning the love they shared and the future they would never have together. Yet amidst the profound sorrow, there bloomed a deep, unshakable gratitude for the selfless gift Caroline had bestowed upon her life.